Hi, this is Mrs. Farouk, and this screencast is going to be on cell membrane and uh, cell transport. So I'll make a first screencast. It will be on cell membrane and its structure and how it maintains homeostasis. And then later on, I'll make another one on diffusion, osmosis, and then active transport. Now, the cell membrane um, is what we describe it as semi-permeable. And the word semi-permeable means it allows certain things to go in and out. Not everything can go in or out, only certain things. So this is how a cell membrane maintains homeostasis. <coughs> now, if you look at the structure of the cell membrane, uh, we describe it as a fluid mosaic model. Now, what does that mean? It means that it's composed of several um, macromolecules. It's composed of phospholipids, cholesterol, glycoproteins, and proteins. And it's called fluid because it's it's fluid, like almost like a liquid-like quality. So if you look at this animation, you see that it's 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 uh, moving. And within the bilayer of phospholipids, you have your proteins, your glycerol, um, your cl cholesterol uh, embedded within the bilayer. And you have proteins that are peripheral, they'll be on top, or transmembrane, they'll go across the membrane. And I'll talk about each part and its role. So, as you can see, this is like the whole membrane with all its different parts. Here you have cholesterol giving the cell membrane its rigidity. You have different types of proteins. Some proteins cut across the bilayer. Some proteins are just at the periphery of the cell membrane. And you also have like carbohydrate groups attached to proteins, or you have carbohydrate groups attached to uh, lipids. And then you have all this extra uh, cellular matrix uh, that helps in the cell attachment, uh, recognition, and all its other jobs. <coughs> now, phospholipid is, uh, bilayer is the major component of the cell membrane, and basically uh, it has, if you remember, a phosphate head, which is a charged part of the phospholipid. And this is the part that we say it's polar. And remember the word polar means anything that is charged. And because it's charged, it's hydrophilic. And the word hydrophilic means it loves water. Now the tail, there's two fatty acid tails and it's uncharged or in other words, nonpolar. And it doesn't like water, so it's hydrophobic. So if you place a phospholipid in the water, the phospho heads will face the, the aqueous environment, the water environment, and then the tails would face each other. And by this arrangement, it forms that barrier. Now, cell membranes contain cholesterol, and cholesterol makes it more rigid. So these phospholipids are constantly moving, and having that cholesterol just makes it more rigid. We also have sugar groups attached to proteins or even lipids, and these uh, play an important role in cell communication and recognition. So probably cells kind of say, hey, I'm a skin cell or I'm a blood cell. So it recognizes itself. You also have other proteins in the cell membrane that act like channels uh, that allow large and charged particles to pass through. Some act like gates or like a revolving door or even a pump. A very important protein channel is an aquaporin. An aquaporin is basically a protein channel that allows water through. And what allows the water through is they, they have these charged uh, channel that attracts water to pass through this channel one molecule in a row. Now the cell membrane does a lot of things. Uh, not only is it involved in cell transport, meaning allowing things to go in and out, but enzyme reactions happen here. Um, you have cell-to-cell -cell recognition happening here. Uh, you have intercellular junctions. You know, certain cells are tightly uh, packed. They stay in, in one place. And cell communication. And cell communication is cell signaling, allowing uh, triggering a cell to make a certain protein or function in a certain way. So review the parts of the cell membrane. Why is the cell membrane structured, referred to as a fluid mosaic model? 
And remember, it has carbohydrates, it has phospholipids, cholesterol, and importantly, protein.